Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video. And in this video, we will be talking about the potential for a tropical wave uh, coming all the way from Africa and possibly developing in the vicinity of the Caribbean. So quite a few models have been hinting towards something trying to develop by the end of this month. And so should the Caribbean be on alert? So we'll be taking a look at all that is going to be happening based on what models are suggesting. And so before I go into details... All right, so first we are starting off with the Eastern Pacific, just an overview of our other tropical systems and other ocean basins. And so we have two active tropical cyclones, which are Tropical Storm Blasts and Tropical Depression Celia. And so they are both very sheared cyclones right now. And it is likely that uh, Blast is going to eventually dissipate in the next couple of days, but Celia might go into a more favorable environment and regain tropical storm status. Anyways, back over into the Atlantic. Basin. So we are taking a look at infrared satellite imagery of the Caribbean right now. And so we see that nice part of very deep convection in the northwestern portion of the basin. So that is where we have a lot of tr uh, a lot of rainfall and thunderstorms taking place. But that is mainly offshore for the most part. And so there are no tropical disturbances in the Caribbean right now. And so at the moment across the Atlantic Basin, we actually have all of this dry air, uh, which is really the Saharan dust and so whenever you see those reds and oranges that indicates more of an abundance of dry air and so this is definitely not conducive when it comes on to anything trying to develop and we also have a pocket of it making its way across portions of the Caribbean accelerating towards the west and so this is likely to blanket other islands of the greater Antilles as we head into this week however at the moment we have the lesser Antilles more than likely having some very hazy skies as a result of this dust and this dust can also uh result in allergic reactions guys so please be aware of that and please try to stay indoors and hydrated as much as possible as infrared satellite imagery uh we have some spots of convection here and there so just in that region we actually have uh, a tropical wave that's a small spot of convection that you are seeing uh right out there that is making its way westward and so that's not what we're expecting to possibly develop into something so it is for the long term because as of right now as you can see on this five-day outlook no new tropical cyclone are expected during the next five days but that could change soon and so let's go ahead and see what the various models are expecting so first up we have the gfs and so we are looking for an l and a value attached to that and so another way to identify areas of a lot of moisture is the greens those greens usually mean that we have quite a bit of rainfall maybe some precipitation within that area and so as we head to wednesday on the 29th of june we see that we have some moisture in the vicinity of portions of the lesser Antilles, mainly the windward islands and then behind that we have a 1014 low that's probably a tropical wave uh, propagating towards the west and then as we head to saturday by the second of July we see that all that moisture is now entering the eastern Caribbean uh, with a lot of its tailover portions of the Lesser Antilles. So GFS is not expecting something very major but still this is probably a hint towards something trying to develop. So let's go on to Euro. Euro is showing something a lot different though. So going to Sunday the 26th of the month here we're seeing quite a bit of moisture uh, that is noted just east of the lesser Antilles and then as we head to Monday the 27th of June take a look at this a lot more moisture than what the GFS uh, is showing and we see a 1011 millibar low pressure system here and then as we head to Tuesday on the 28th of the month we have that constant minimum pressure of 1011 millibars and now it's over uh, the system is over in the eastern Caribbean more than likely a tropical wave and then eventually by Wednesday Day on the 29th we don't see much really become of it so this could be hinting towards something trying to develop here and so in order for us to really uh, have an idea of what they're expecting we have to take a look at other factors that would influence the system such as uh, the humidity as well as those upper level winds or that wind shear so looking at the wind shear map from the 
uh, euro model we're seeing here that by monday on the 27th we have that low that is likely associated with that tropical wave and above it we see all of those reds and oranges that indicates strong wind shear and these are not favorable conditions for us to have development because when we have strong upper level winds uh, it really inhibits development it just shears away all of the convection that tries to develop within the system here so that is quite unfavorable however that pressure is within a region that doesn't have a whole lot of shear we're seeing some whites and those blues and greens uh that doesn't mean that the shear is very very strong maybe light to moderate shear within the area and then as we head to tuesday on the 28th of the month we're seeing that the shear is increasing over the western side of the system there and uh, by Wednesday on the 29th, we see that we have some moderate shear over in portions of the Eastern Caribbean, which is likely to inhibit development. So we see that the wind shear isn't going to be the most favorable for development, but let's take a look at that humidity map. And so humidity is how much moisture is present in the atmosphere. And so those green blue shades that you're seeing, that indicates a moist environment. And uh, whenever you see those browns, that indicates that things are pretty dry. And so by Monday on the 27th of the month, we are seeing that uh, we have this area of moisture, of course, it is making its way towards the west. And we are seeing that there is dry air behind and in front of it. And then as we head to Tuesday on the 28th, we're seeing that we have the system here uh, making its way over into the eastern Caribbean, of course, but there is still that dry air. And then by the 29th of June, uh, next Wednesday, we see that we have this the moisture sort of dissipating within the system. So this is likely due to uh, dry air intrusion, which would really help to interrupt the system and result in weakening and or dissipation of the system. And so we have other models that are suggesting something trying to develop, such as the CMC model, which is showing that we would probably have a low pressure system, a thousand eight millibar low pressure system out there, but it does not show it becomes something very major. And this is actually the end of the model run. So by next week on the 29th of June. And so guys, let's go ahead and take a look at current conditions across the basin. So first up, we have sea surface temperatures and we are seeing that things are definitely warm across the uh, Caribbean and in portions of the Atlantic but as we accelerate closer uh, to the coast of Africa things get much cooler so it is not likely that we will have waves uh, developing within that region where especially where you see those greens however as they make their way more towards the west into warmer waters that is when we're likely to see some development keeping that other conditions stay uh, conducive to enable the system to actually develop and so as we head closer and closer especially towards the peak of the season in September we will start to see more and more activity and that means that the Caribbean has to be on alert especially for those Cape Verde type systems so uh, it is that time of year again where we have to in uh, ensure that we are prepared and take the necessary precautions when it comes on to these systems because we don't know what's going to be happening this year and all predictions are really calling for an above average hurricane season maybe something similar to last year so let's wait and see what the eventual outcome is going to be for this season but in terms of what the euro is showing we should definitely not ignore this because uh, in the month of July, we typically have storms developing just in the vicinity of the Lesser Antilles and moving through the Caribbean, as you're seeing on this map right here. And so, guys, uh, I would advise you all, especially if you're in the Lesser Antilles, to keep up with what's going on on there. Of course, I'll be giving you updates. So if you haven't uh, yet subscribed to my channel, please do so and tap the bell so that you never miss an important update on the tropics. And so, guys, that is really it for this update video. And so if you found it to be quite informative, please give a thumbs up. And you can also share your thoughts with me in the comments or ask a question. I will try to respond as best and as soon as I can. And of course, always be with wise.